Hi Tesla fans, we're back and this is now the beginning of part two of our two-part series on improving the sound system in your Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model Y. This part we're going to focus on replacing the factory subwoofer and adding an additional 300 watt amplifier to your sound system. Now, if you did phase one by replacing all seven speakers, in my opinion, this is a must have finish off the sound system with improved bass response. But you don't necessarily have to do phase one. You can actually keep the factory speakers in the car. They'll play just as they do now. And by improving the factory subwoofer with our new subwoofer and amplifier, that's gonna make your sound system sound even better than it did before you started. Keep in mind, your Model 3 or your Model Y must have the factory premium sound system. And the way to go ahead and check that is to go into your car, go into your touchscreen, audio, EQ settings, and if you see a subwoofer adjustment level, then you know that you have the premium sound system and this subwoofer upgrade will work for you. Before Oliver gets started on this install, keep in mind how easy this is. This is really plug and play. We have harnesses. This is designed specifically for your Model 3 or your Model Y to make it really easy, a true DIY. But for those of you that are local to our service center in Van Nuys, California, or in Atlanta, Georgia, we offer installation services as well over there. So let's get started. Oliver's gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to upgrade the subwoofer and amplifier in your Model 3 and Model Y. Before you start taking apart any other part of the car, we should probably probably power the car down. To do this, you go into the, uh, the, the menu, you go into safety, you scroll all the way down, and you hit power off. Before you hit power off, make sure you're not sitting on the seats. Make sure that your windows are down, your doors are open. Any part of the car that you're gonna open or close while you do this install is opened or closed, okay? Otherwise, the car will turn back on and then you'll have to do this again. So now we're gonna start by removing all these panels in the trunk. Start with the easy ones like the big ones, like this and this. Then you've got this plastic piece here. You can get in with your hands and just pop it up. Then you'll have these pieces down here. Now these are just Velcroed, if I remember right, or clipped in. Just pop it up. Again, off to one side. And then you'll have this clip down here. You just need to pop this clip out with your panel tool. And then the same with this here too. Let's remove this, make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Now this, this panel here, the big panel on the side, just work from the bottom, pop it out. And then this will pop all the way across. And then what you want to do is loop it out and then go to the front and then pop it out from the front too. And then you'll pull this whole panel out from the back. To remove this side panel, we're going to have to go under this seat anyway, so we may as well pop the seat off. Now with this, you just pop it up, pull it forward, and you can actually drop it down here because you actually have a cable that comes around here that you don't need to disconnect, so why disconnect it? Then with this panel that we were removing from the back, you want to just pull it out from behind this rubber. You get your little pry tool in if you want. And let's make this a little easier. Let's pop this seat down. And the last piece we're going to remove is this... Uh, this top piece here, this top plastic piece, just to gain access to the top bolt of the subwoofer box. To do this, because it's got the seat belt as well, you just want to pop it down and just get it out of the way. Then take your 10 millimeter socket. Let's undo these three bolts here. So to remove the three bolts, we actually removed three more bolts on the amplifier. You can do this. Sometimes you can get in, depends on how the fit and the finish of the, of the Tesla is. But with this one, for some reason, we had to undo the three bolts here to remove the factory amplifier. You can leave that and leave this hanging down, that's fine. Then you have this plug on the front here for the subwoofer, for the, uh, for the speaker. Unplug this, and then you can pull your subwoofer enclosure out of the vehicle. So now we've got the subwoofer box on the table. You've got these four Torx 25s in the corners. Obviously, we've got to remove those. So it takes your Torx 25 and start undoing these. Then we'll just remove the, the woofer from the enclosure, slide this clip out. So now that the factory subwoofer is out, and let's take a closer look at this thing. Wow, isn't she a beauty? I mean, paper cone, super lightweight, pretty thin, very small magnet, and 
you know, I think we can all agree it just doesn't give enough base response to be enjoyable in your Tesla. Uh, this is the factory enclosure that it sits in. As you can see, we've taken that out as well. It's got a port right here, which is kind of interesting for acoustics. But now Oliver's going to show you how we're going to go ahead and take this trim panel, which is included with your kit. That'll get installed right there. And then take a look at this upgraded eight inch woofer. I mean, the weight is there, the magnet size is there, much better quality construction on the cone. And this subwoofer is gonna be powered by the upgraded 300 watt amplifier that we're also gonna very quickly install. Oliver will show you. Uh, plug and play harnesses, again, making this install very easy. Double the power, double the performance. The factory amplifier is only about 150, 160 watts of power to this sub. We're gonna be coming in at 300 watts. And what's really nice about this, whether you are doing a standalone subwoofer amplifier upgrade, or if you're including this with part one of this video, which is the seven speaker upgrade, is that now you'll have a true solid harmonic bass response coming out of the enclosure with the upgraded subwoofer and amplifier. That will take off some of the EQ settings and pressure that the front door speakers, which are also eight inch by Tesla, that we did not change, we're leaving those in there, but they don't need to work as hard right now. And overall, this is gonna complement your sound system. Again, whether you've changed the speakers or you're just using the subwoofer amplifier upgrade. So let's get into the install and we're almost done. Okay, so now we're gonna go drop the eight inch woofer into this uh, factory location. So out of the cable harness bag that we provide you with, you'll notice you'll have this cable. So what you wanna do is you wanna route it or route it as you Americans say, roughly where the old one was. And then we're gonna put this nice trim ring over the top. This will sandwich and cause, create a seal at the bottom. And then with the screws that are provided, Drop one in to get it started. Take your Torx 20 and screw this thing in. Once you get to this point here, we're going to take your new subwoofer and we're going to connect up the cables. And obviously, we go red to red, black to black. Make sure that one side will go to one coil and the other joint pair goes to the other coil. So you push down the, the pin and put the cable in the hole. And then we go ahead and drop the speaker into the, into the box. So once you get the the speaker located in, you'll see the, the, the symbol in the middle. You will be up and down, straight up and down, and then you can see the machine mounting points behind. So take your two and a half mil hex or Allen key, whichever way you want to call it, and start to screw these in. So here we are in the back seat of the Tesla Model Y. We're going to connect up the power cable, and it's this one with the, the fuse holder on. Now there's no fuse in here right now until we connect everything up and this will be the last thing that we pop in. So underneath this red terminal here is your 12 volt or 15 volt, whichever way you want to call it, your low voltage side. So you want to undo this, but be careful that you don't touch anything else around there. All this metal that's hanging around, especially this, this ground cable right here. Don't touch any of that with what you're going to be undoing the, the 13 mil with. So what you can do is you just, just loosen this thing off. Once you get it going a little bit, you can then just spin it with your finger and get your conductive tools out of the way. Once you get to the top, try not to lose the bolt down the side. Okay. And then drop this ring terminal over the top. Then put your 13 mil nut back over the top. Spin this thing down. Tighten it as much as you can with your hand and then just give it the last final tweak with the wrench or socket, whichever way you want to play it. That's it. Replace your red terminal. And then you want to route this cable, leave the, leave the fuse accessible. And there you go. See, I've put the, the cable the wrong side of the seat harness. So undo the seat harness and plug this back in again. Then what you want to do is you want to route this cable along with the other factory cables, like this one that goes all the way, all the way to the back. Use the zip ties that came in the box and uh, zip tie it up to where you want it to be. So now we've got our loom zip tied all the way back down to roughly about this point here. You're gonna have your original input to your subwoofer right here. You'll have this other cable that's came in the box. You need to plug that into 
your original input. This is going to go down to your aftermarket amplifier along with your new subwoofer. And then we've got this uh, grounding point right here. Now you have a grounding point up here. What we're going to do is we're going to undo this grounding point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace this factory carpeted panel, put the amplifier in, put all the other pieces back together. And now we're going to go and drop this side carpeted panel in. There's a couple of things you need to flick it behind and drop it on top of. Uh, so we've got to flick it behind the seat belt and then the, the factory, the, the new cables that we're going to put in here, they're going to come out right here. So we're going to put it out on top of itself. So first things first, we'll pull the, the seat belt out a little bit and drop this in. This will slide down roughly into its position down the front. And then this is going to come over and sit roughly down here. Try and wiggle this out so it's in a good, good spot. Make sure you've got all three of your connectors. Now, one thing you have got to make sure is this, this part here with the guide and the, the clip here, if you don't get this in, in fact, this would probably be the best place for you to start. Drop this thing into this hole here, otherwise it won't sit correctly. So once you get that in, you'll see how this sits down perfect. Flick this out all the way down and that will sit in position. Now this is almost in line. Now you just got to deal with the, the part near the rear bench seat. Now we're on the second row. You just want to make sure that this is all the way down and round. If you help, it might help you just to lift this weather ceiling up just so you can situate this panel roughly where it should be. Give it a few little taps and drop this panel on top of the... Uh... Now we want to lift the seats up and we've got this panel here that we want to be putting in. This panel here just goes straight in, straight down. Again, probably lift the weather strip up and drop this back on. Remember to leave your uh, fuse holder accessible because we're going to be dropping this 30 amp fuse in here in a second. So now we find ourselves in the trunk again. We've got two or three pieces left. So you have this little L-shaped piece. Make sure that your cables are out of the way so you can still access them to the amp. Drop this down, making sure you've still got enough cable to, uh, to plug it into the subwoofer, the amplifier. So you have three plugs here and you have one coming out your aftermarket amplifier. The aftermarket amplifier has multiple colors on, yellow, blue, black, and red. That also goes to the yellow, blue, black, and red. So we'll plug this in together like this. And then your other one is gonna be your speakers, which go into the top, which is labeled with speaker. And then your other one is power right here. So what we can do is we can drop this in. We can plug your power in and plug your speaker one in. Once that's in, this will sit down, sit down pretty flush. Then we just gotta put the trims on and then we'll put the cover plate on and we should be good. Now, before we put the cover plate on, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the fuse in. We're gonna make sure everything works. So now we go drop the fuse in. You might end up with a little spark. It's just the cap, the capacitors in the um, amplifier charging up. So there's your little spark. And now the amplifier's on and uh, we can go ahead and replace this, this seat, making sure that you tuck it in the back and your seat belt stick up through the holes. Give it a little tap on the front. I find sometimes you can get yourself in and just push down on it. And the final thing to finish it off, take the plastic panel that came with it, slide it in, take it back, back in first and tuck that in behind the, uh, behind the floor panel. Give it a little push just to make the adhesive stick and that's it and that will finish off the floor, make it flat. Well, trust me, the bass sounds amazing, and it is the perfect addition to either the factory sound system as it came from Tesla, or of course, with our upgraded speaker option that you saw in the previous video. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, we have so many more amazing videos coming your way soon.